How's everyone doing? My name is John Petroselli, saxophonist, composer, and inaugural postdoctoral fellow here at Oberlin College and Conservatory. Coming to you today to talk to you about an amazing product from Roberto's Winds in New York City, legendary saxophone mecca. This is the Wovo. I want to do an unboxing for you today, talk to you a little bit about my experience with this ligature, and then also talk to you a little bit about why does a ligature matter? In any case, let's dive in. I want to turn the camera around and talk to you about what you get when you get a Roberto's Wovo tenor saxophone ligature. So here is the outer box, and right away, you can tell that something very different is going on here because, I mean, this packaging alone, the design work, the graphics, the overall presentation of this outer box is really something extremely different. By the way, speaking of presentation, if you're ever in the New York City area, you have to check out Roberto's, the main shop. You're gonna get all the help and all the gear that you need. Without further ado, let's dive in to the contents. So right off the bat, you get more swag. You get this beautiful polishing cloth, Wovo. It sings in Italian. So really beautiful pamphlet. And this is really what it's all about, right? Um, and looking at what Roberto himself has to say, this is the ultimate tool for that best sound we're all looking for, it sings. Roberto Romeo, Roberto's wins. And I've really found that, guys. I mean, the fluidity and the free-blowing nature that this ligature brings to my setup really gave me a sense of completion that I had sort of finalized my setup. You might be surprised, and you know, other players who have tried this um, have been surprised by just how light it is. It's, it's actually not a physically heavy design, although it has a, a certainly has a presence on the mouthpiece. And you have these axes drilled out and notches embedded or engraved into the design. And there's some venting happening at the top as well with this beautiful Roberto's logo at the top. Roberto's wins. These plates are interchangeable and I did a whole play test at Roberto's this summer that led up to me choosing the two thin plates. I believe that this one is brass and then I also have another one in silver. The brass is what's on right now and uh, because you're given an allen wrench and honestly this beautiful screwdriver <laughs> with this wood, and I wish I knew which, what wood this was, I should have asked. But it actually makes uh, changing out these plates a really very quick procedure, and I've actually done it twice now, changed back and forth between silver and, and brass and had no problems there. You also get this false reed plate to help you stow the ligature on the mouthpiece between usages. And I've had no problem getting that situated. Like so. And then it's all getting covered by this proprietary ligature. And that snaps into place with, with authority actually. Won't even let go right now. So there it is. Uh, I was on a gig at Chris's Jazz Cafe this summer, and I really didn't think about or took for granted having a red ligature cap or mouthpiece cap until I put it on the bandstand with my horn on a saxophone stand and on the set break. And that's when I realized having a red, bright red <laughs> ligature mouthpiece cap is actually really important. Uh, it, it, it's very vibrant and it means people are going to, you know, have that in their visual sight line and steer clear of your horn. 
I, I'm actually really appreciative that they did these accessories in red. One more time, just look at yourself. You see that there's this notch here that gives you a visual indication of the, the direction to fit the ligature onto the mouthpiece. And honestly, while they give you a screwdriver, I've actually just been adjusting this with my, my fingertip, my thumb tip. And you'll notice that there's a degree of flexibility in the reed plate, and that allows you to get a really good seat of the reed onto the mouthpiece, like so. And adjustability-wise, I can actually just get a little lower, just with a quick twist. I can kind of ride up onto the table a little bit higher which is how I prefer and I'm done and this holds so one of the things again that I wasn't sure about before I started using this ligature day in and day out was is this screw going to hold is it going to be fussy and something that I need to adjust you know nearly every single time that I'm working with this ligature and the answer is no uh, so I've, I've been playing this day in and day out, and I really don't worry about it when I get the ligature out and I'm unpacking to play either a practice session or a performance. Uh, I have a lot of confidence that this ligature is going to be where I left it uh, at the conclusion of my last practice session. So all in all, this is the... Uh, presentation that you're getting with a Roberto's Wovo and frankly there's a sense of occasion with this packaging and with this design that I think is really warranted given just how good it is to play and the difference that this has made in my own playing I think is is substantial it definitely gives you a different feel a more free-blowing feel and a more open setup that I particularly appreciate in my own playing. So let's tie a bow tie on this. What are you getting when you get a Wovo? And in my opinion, it's all about the sensory experience from behind the horn. The way that this vibrates and resonates in your fascia and your bone structure is critical to how you hear your sound. And there is a lack of resistance in terms of the onset of sound and the free-blowing nature of this that I think really sets it apart from any other ligature in the market. I do an extensive play test in another one of my videos, link in the description, where I go back and forth between the Wovo and some of the top ligatures that have ever been designed for the tenor saxophone and I feel a substantial difference. I encourage you to check it out and see what you think. In the meantime, I'll let my playing do the talking and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> Thank you. 
It sings. <laughs>